In the middle of the Indian jungle, a group of humans desperately attempt to flee an aggressive tiger. A woman clutching a baby rips her dress while trying to escape, but her husband doesn't make it. Shere Khan kills many people in the massacre, something Ka describes as an act that broke the jungle's ancient law. In the aftermath of the chaos, a black panther named Bagheera finds an abandoned baby boy. Sensing Shere Khan nearby, Bagheera rescues the child from certain death. Ka watches from a distance as he leaves the child at the mouth of a cave and slips away into the darkness. A wolf pup comes out to see the child, but the boy accidentally frightens the wolves. The cub's parents, Nisha and Vahan, come out to see what's happening and are stunned to find the human child. Realizing the man-cub isn't wounded and doesn't fear the wolves, they consider their next steps. But they're soon disrupted by Tabaki, a frightened hyena looking for food. The wolves conceal the man-cub from Tabaki, who flees to report back to an angry-sounding Shere Khan. Nisha leaves to call a pack meeting about the cub. She wants to keep the baby and raise him as their own. The wolf pack gathers at a council meeting, where Nisha reveals what they found. Presenting the boy to the wolves, Nisha proposes that she and Vahan raise the cub as her own. Akela, leader of the pack, asks who supports the proposal, with Bagheera stepping forward to voice his support. He also volunteers a bear named Baloo, who objects to the idea of a human being raised by wolves. Cinema recap here. We've got a little challenge that'll take five seconds, and it will change your life forever. You ready? All you gotta do is like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell, and you'll receive 10 free years of good luck. It's as simple as that. The meeting is interrupted by the arrival of Shere Khan, who reveals he killed the boy's parents and believes he is now owed the child. Akela and the pack step forward to take ownership of the boy, threatening Shere Khan with the wrath of all the wolves as well as Baloo and Bagheera, if he tries to harm the cub. Khan vows to take any opportunity he gets to kill the man-cub and leaves the council meeting. Recognizing the danger, the wolves officially adopt the cub, with Akela vowing to stand by the boy as long as he lives. Ten years later, a fully grown Mowgli is still living amongst the wolves. Bagheera teaches him how to hunt like a true predator to look his prey in the eyes when they die so the soul doesn't depart alone. Mowgli asks Bagheera why he's different from the other wolves, but Bagheera assures him that he's not different at all, he's just special. Baloo teaches Mowgli the important three laws of the jungle. Wolves may not have contact with man. Wolves may not hunt man's animals, especially not the sacred cow. And wolves shall not kill man in the jungle, for killing man only brings danger. In the woods, Mowgli plays with an albino wolf named Boot. The two bond over their unique differences from the rest of the pack. Both are considered to be freaks in comparison to the other wolves. Returning to the cave, Mowgli and Boot are criticized and mocked by the other wolves, who point out how slow and weak they are. As the other wolves beat up Boot, Nisha steps in to end the fighting and encourages Mowgli's training. He can be a wolf if he really wants to be. Baloo prepares Mowgli and the other wolves for a rite of passage they must pass to become full-fledged members of the pack, the running. In the test, the wolves pretend to be prey and must outrun Bagheera. According to Baloo, no wolf has ever failed the test. Unfortunately, despite his best efforts, Mowgli cannot keep up with the rest of the pack. In the jungle, he sees a monkey's hand holding some fruit and follows his temptation. But just as he's about to grab the fruit, Baloo pulls him back down to earth. Baloo insists that the monkey people are too dangerous and unpredictable to hang around. According to him, having no fear is a foolish thing when you live in the jungle. And the monkeys are the most foolish of all. They don't even fear Ka, a python as old as the jungle. She can see the past and the future. In the jungle, Mowgli and Baloo find a mutilated corpse of a cow, a blatant breaking of the law of the jungle. Baloo tells the wolf pack about the murdered cow. They're horrified and angered by the breaking of the sacred law. 
Realizing that Shere Khan has returned, the wolf pack argues for Mowgli to be handed over to Shere Khan, but Nisha urgently argues against it. That night, Akela tells Baloo and Bagheera that Shere Khan is looking to start a war with Akela. With Akela gone, Shere Khan will be able to have complete control over the jungle. Everyone wants to protect Mowgli, but their approaches are too different. Bagheera wants Mowgli to go to the man village, but Akela sees that man has taken over the jungle. Mowgli may be their last hope of survival. Bagheera isn't convinced, but Akela insists that the pack will accept Mowgli if he can pass the running. When Baloo suggests that Mowgli can't do it, Akela insists that he find a way. The next day, Baloo gives Mowgli more intense one-on-one -on -one training, with a twist. Rather than teaching Mowgli to be a wolf, Baloo teaches him how to use his human traits to his benefit, climbing and jumping between trees. While swimming underwater, Mowgli gets a glimpse of Shere Khan above the surface, lapping up a quick drink and cleaning the blood from his mouth. Mowgli tries to hold his breath, but some bubbles escape to the surface. Shere Khan notices, but decides to leave. Mowgli bursts through the surface to grab some air and flees before Shere Khan can catch him. Mowgli runs through the jungle, pursued by Khan. In his panic, Mowgli falls into a pit trap set by a hunter, narrowly surviving the fall. He can see Shere Khan circling the pit above. A large, sinister-looking trunk slides towards him, wrapping itself around Mowgli's waist and lifting him out, revealing it to be an ancient elephant with a broken tusk. Bagheera arrives to find the boy alive and well, thanks to the elephant. As Bagheera takes Mowgli home, Shere Khan retreats into the shadows. That night, Bagheera and Mowgli watch as the humans get nearer to the jungle. Bagheera explains that they're hunting the tiger, killing their cattle, but Bagheera doesn't have much faith in them. Shere Khan is clever and cunning. Bagheera tries to convince Mowgli to go to the man village for his safety, revealing that the boy isn't a wolf at all. He's a man. Mowgli refuses to believe it, but Bagheera explains that Shere Khan killed his parents and wants him. If he doesn't pass the running, the pack will expel him, which means he'll probably die at the claws of Khan. Mowgli insists he won't fail, but Bagheera wants him to promise that he will go to the man village if he does fail. Mowgli says nothing. Mowgli takes a closer look at the humans, led by a hunter named Lockwood. He watches as Tabaki gets too close to the human village, accidentally setting himself on fire. When Mowgli asks about the fire, Tabaki explains that man's fire is something to be feared, a kind of dark magic that causes immense pain. Mowgli once again denies that he's a human, but Tabaki laughs. He dreams he's a tiger, but he always wakes up a hyena. Later, Mowgli looks out over the water as Nisha checks in on him. He tells her that all he ever wanted was to be a wolf and for the others to see him as an equal. Nisha assures him that he belongs with the pack and that he should not let anybody make him think otherwise. He is her son, no matter what. The next day, Akela introduces the young wolves and Mowgli to the running. Now determined to prove himself, Mowgli uses every trick at his disposal to excel at the race. Running on two legs, swinging and jumping from trees, Mowgli takes the lead, even evading an attack by Bagheera in the process. But, just as he's about to cross the finish line, Bagheera pounces on him, making Mowgli the first to fail the rite of passage in jungle history. Mowgli rejects the claim, insisting that Bagheera unfairly targeted him. He angrily storms into the jungle. In the jungle, Mowgli is again tempted by the monkeys and their fruit. With nobody to stop him, Mowgli plays with the monkeys, to the amusement of Boot. But, when he finally grabs a fruit, Mowgli is pulled up into the trees. Boot runs away in terror. Elsewhere in the jungle, Baloo and Bagheera argue over the race results, with Baloo accusing Bagheera of rigging the outcome to ensure that Mowgli would leave the jungle. As they fight over who cares more about the boy, Boot hurries over to tell them that the monkey people have taken Mowgli. Baloo and Bagheera stop fighting and rush away to save him. In the middle of the jungle, Mowgli is dragged, kicking and screaming by the monkeys, who knock him out and deliver him to Shere Khan. 
Khan plans to spare Mowgli to ensure more discord will spread throughout the pack. He claws Mowgli's arm so he can enjoy a taste of the boy's blood, but Baloo and Bagheera arrive just in time to fight off Shere Khan and the monkeys. They're soon overwhelmed until Ka arrives, rescuing Mowgli and scaring away the other animals. Mowgli returns to his pack but doesn't understand why Ka saved him. Mowgli watches with disappointment as the new wolves embark on their first hunt, without him. Boot arrives and tries to comfort his friend with the offer of their own hunt. When Mowgli admits he's not a wolf, Boot laughs at his best friend, reminding him that they are wolves, they're just special. But Mowgli lashes out and calls him a freak in a moment of anger. Heartbroken, Boot abandons Mowgli and escapes into the jungle. Mowgli seeks out Ka to discover why she saved him. Ka explains that the whole jungle has been watching him because of his biological differences. One day, she says, he will speak and the jungle will listen. She wants to know what he will say when the day comes. Out on the hunt, Akela comes close to taking down their prey, only to fail at the last moment. When he returns home, he finds Shere Khan waiting for him. Khan accuses him of being the one who caused all the chaos in the jungle, and now, since he missed his kill, the wolf pack must challenge Akela for leadership. Knowing that's part of the jungle law, Akela accepts. Mowgli returns home in time to see Akela fending off his challengers, Baloo forbids him from intervening, but Mowgli realizes what's at stake when he sees Shere Khan. When Akela eventually falls, Khan will take over, bringing true chaos to the jungle. Mowgli escapes into the darkness as Akela is overwhelmed by his challenges. In the village, Mowgli scares a woman and steals some fire. A wounded Akela struggles to continue the fight until Mowgli rushes in, using the fire to chase off Shere Khan and the challengers. Akela demands that Mowgli leave, believing that the boy has brought great shame on the pack by using man's weapons against the wolves. Banished from the pack, Mowgli reluctantly journeys into the jungle alone. Mowgli is quickly discovered by the villagers, who knock him out. The following day, Mowgli wakes up to find himself locked in a cage in the human village. Unable to escape, Mowgli is given food by Lockwood, the hunter, which he rejects. The children of the village throw rocks and bully him. That night, Bagheera visits Mowgli but refuses to rescue him. Bagheera explains that he was born among men. Once, he was a pet to a king who kept him locked in a cage. Over time, he came to enjoy a domesticated life. Bagheera regrets that he couldn't teach Mowgli to be like all the other animals, but insists it wasn't possible. Mowgli tells Bagheera that he loves him, but Bagheera encourages him to gain the trust of the humans and heads back to the jungle. Mowgli wakes the next morning to see that the cage is open. He wanders out into the camp, stealing a bite of a dead animal Lockwood caught. Lockwood hands the boy a knife, teaching him how to slice and cut his meat. Lockwood recognizes Mowgli's arm scar as being from Shere Khan, revealing his own battle scar. They have a common enemy. Masua, a village woman, bathes and cleans Mowgli as if he were her son. She gives him shoes, teaching him how to walk like a human. Over time, Mowgli becomes an integrated part of the village, befriending the other children and becoming close to Lockwood and Masua. Lockwood gives Mowgli a knife pouch of his own to keep around his neck for hunting. Mowgli hugs Lockwood, proving Bagheera's words right. He finally belongs in the world of man. One day, Brother visits Mowgli and asks him for help. Shere Khan has taken over the pack, banishing Akela and those who stand by him. The pack is now facing constant threats to their safety, and they desperately need Mowgli's help. But Mowgli refuses. After all, they abandoned him when he most needed them. The village is his home now. Mowgli and the villagers take part in the celebratory holy festival, a fun affair that everyone in the village enjoys. That night, Mowgli listens to a conversation a drunken Lockwood has with his Indian friends, but can't understand what they're saying. 
When he can't walk, Mowgli helps Lockwood to his tent. Inside the tent, Mowgli puts Lockwood to bed and explores his private quarters. There, he finds a collection of taxidermy equipment and Boots' stuffed head. Mowgli is horrified, but the drunk Lockwood joins him to brag about his finds, knowing the boy doesn't understand a word he says. As Lockwood goes back to bed, Mowgli cries, devastated to have been betrayed by man and animal. The following day, Mowgli sneaks into Lockwood's tent, pulls out his blades and considers killing him. But he can't go through with it. He notices a giant tusk on display beside Lockwood's bed, the broken half of the tusk that belonged to the ancient elephant that saved him. Mowgli steals the tusk, returning it to the ancient elephant and making a deal. Mowgli will show the elephant which hunter stole the tusk, if the elephants will help him rid the jungle of the tiger. Mowgli approaches Akela and the other followers with the same deal. Akela, still angered about Mowgli's breaking of the laws of the jungle, refuses to work alongside Mowgli. He again expresses disappointment that Mowgli has become a man and not a wolf. But Mowgli now claims that he is neither man nor wolf. Akela refuses to allow his followers to go with Mowgli. But Bagheera almost rebels. Tomorrow, Mowgli announces the tiger will die. The next day, Mowgli ventures to the edge of the jungle near the human village, armed with his knife, and calls out for Shere Khan. Hearing Mowgli's cries across the jungle, Bagheera appeals to Akela to consider helping the boy. Shere Khan finally makes his appearance, confronting Mowgli and mocking him for using a man's tool in battle. As Khan approaches, Mowgli lets out a wolf cry that signals the elephants, leading Khan to be quickly overwhelmed and beaten up. Mowgli leaps on Khan's back, stabbing him and narrowly escaping an attack. Khan finds himself trapped in a tree, allowing Mowgli to retrieve his knife and stab the tiger again. A gunshot disrupts the fight, as Mowgli realizes that Lockwood is getting involved. Mowgli points him out to the ancient elephant as the hunter that took the tusk. In the jungle, Baloo, Bagheera, and the others rebel against Akela's instructions, rushing out to help Mowgli. Lockwood aims at Shere Khan, but misses his shot, accidentally shooting Mowgli instead. As Shere Khan barrels towards the injured boy, Akela knocks him out of the air, saving Mowgli. Lockwood, meanwhile, is stampeded and killed by the elephants. As Shere Khan gets to his feet, Mowgli receives backup from Baloo, Bagheera, and the rest of the wolves. Akela is fatally wounded from the fight with Khan, but forgives Mowgli for what he did. He encourages the boy to lead the pack before he ultimately gives into his wounds. A determined Mowgli grabs his knife and raises to his feet to finish the battle. Ka watches, knowing this is the moment she foretold. Mowgli approaches the fatally wounded Shere Khan, looking the beast in his eyes as he dies, just as Bagheera taught him. But Shere Khan isn't dead and lashes out for one final swipe. Mowgli, anticipating it, dodges the attack and kills Khan with one swift movement. Having witnessed Mowgli's impressive story, the animals come out in celebration, accepting him as king of the jungle. The ancient elephant raises the boy onto his back marching him back to the home of his pack. Ka finishes the story, telling us that Mowgli, neither man nor wolf, gave the jungle a voice. As long as he lived, there would be peace between both worlds. The animals watch in awe as Mowgli stands over the jungle.